Hi everyone, this video is going to focus on translating word problems into algebraic expressions. Now before we actually start these problems, remember um, in the notes we did talk about how there's their key words or phrases that are often used in mathematics. So make sure you take a look at that handout. Um, there are a lot of words that you want to be on the lookout for. So the first problem here says, yesterday Miguel had C baseball cards. Today he gave 14 away. Using C, write an expression for the number of cards Miguel has left. Now here, typically what we do when we translate word problems is we usually tell you you got to define a variable. So we usually have a statement that kind of says let x equals blah blah blah. Well in this case, they are telling you what the variable is and what it stands for. So in this first sentence here where it says Miguel has C baseball cards, that is telling you that C is equal to the number of baseball cards. Okay, that's kind of how we write it in mathematics. And so that's what C stands for. And then it says today he gave 14 away. So if you give something away, that indicates subtraction. Okay, and that's what we mean by a key phrase or a key word. The giving something away is subtraction. And so it's saying use C to write an expression for the number of cards that Miguel has left. Well, remember, he starts with C cards. And if he gives 14 away, he is taking away 14 out of the cards that he originally had. So if he had 20 cards, for instance, and he gave 14 away, how would you figure out how many cards he has left? Well, you would just subtract the 14. And so we don't know how much he has left, and we don't know how much he started with. And this is why this is an expression, because there is no equal sign. And so our expression for this case here is just C minus 14. Now for the second one, it says translate the sentence into an equation. Um, 7 less than the product of 8 and a number equals 9. Use the variable y for the unknown number. So again, typically we want you to define the variable, but in this case it is telling us that y represents the unknown number. So if I go back to this um, sentence here, 7 less than the product of 8 and a number equals 9, I know that when I see that phrase, a number, it is y. That's what it's already been defined as. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through this sentence for some key words or phrases. So it first starts with 7, that's just a number, but then I see the phrase less than. So less than is a turnaround phrase, and what that means is you, um, if I have like 8 less than 12, I don't start with 8, that's really saying 12 minus 8. So in the same instance here, I'm not going to take 7 away from some, or I'm not going to take and start with 7 and then do minus. This does indicate subtraction, but it's going to be a turnaround phrase, and so we'll kind of see what that looks like. It says the product of 8 and a number. So this right here, the product of 8 and a number, is part of that less than phrase. So there are two pieces here. There's seven, less than, and then all of this. So I'm going to start with the product of eight and a number. So again, let's look for phrase or keywords or phrases. So I see the word product, which indicates multiplication. So what am I multiplying? I'm multiplying eight and a number. So in this case, that's the same thing as saying eight times y or eight y. Less than indicates subtraction, and what am I subtracting? The 7. And then I see another keyword here that says equals. Well, that's a little self-explanatory, but that's just the equal sign. And then 9. So 7 less than the product of 8 and a number equals 9 is represented by this equation here.